Nick speaking and welcome to this video right how to magnetize a triarch stalker so first up uh, cut all the bits out and um, obviously take all the mold lines off remove all the flash um, and once you've done that then take your instruction book and I want you to uh, start to build it basically so start to glue this together right the way through the instruction book until you get to the very last two pages once you've um, done this section here ready to put this little piece underneath the model I want you to stop now you may not want to glue all of those pieces together a bit like me um, I've left some of these apart because I want to make it easier for painting so for example that section um, this section here and the driver I've, um, I've got the driver in exactly the right position but I haven't glued it into the, the section that's going to make it a lot easier to paint now I've also left my legs off because I'm going to be doing uh, additional conversions for this because I want to make mine hovering so I haven't glued my legs on either so basically build it as much as you can up until uh, that point that I showed you, where's it gone? up to this point here and then now we're going to start to magnetize it okay so this is the piece that sits underneath and your gun eventually is going to to go into there now it does actually fit in there and arguably you could glue it into place and still magnetize the whole thing um, the reason why I'm going to magnetize mine is if you get a weapon destroyed result then you can just unmagnetize it and take the weapon off and we all know it's got a weapon destroyed so how I'm going to do this is um, get yourself either a little piece of uh, plastic card or what I've done is I've cut a piece of base up so this is just the inside section of the base uh, cut up with some clippers into a little tr uh, rectangle and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to glue that here to cover up the hole I'm going to glue it into position there with some super glue um, cover up the hole so that we can put a magnet on the other side so I'm just going to glue that now and uh, I'll be back okay so I've super glued that in and uh, see it's drying at the moment but you can see we've got the, the blanked, blanked in the hole basically um, now the magnets I'm going to use for this uh, section of these, these are uh, 16th by 18th um, I shall put a link in the description below so you can go and check out uh, where I got my magnets from but basically I'm going to glue a magnet into there and then I'm going to glue a magnet onto the gun section so first of all I'm going to get my clippers and just take off the piece that would normally go into the hole I'm going to carefully do that there we go, done now there's a little hole left underneath because it's sort of hollow so what I'm going to do is going to put some green stuff in there I'm then going to magnetise that onto the well not magnetise, sorry, I'm going to glue this onto there um, obviously making sure the polarities are the right way round so that when they join together um, you know they connect ok so I'm going to do that and I'll be back ok so that's that piece done uh, magnet on both sides they're just drying now so I'm going to let them dry keep that aside for a second and uh, next we're going to look at the front of the guns now there's three fronts for the three different guns and uh, they basically just go onto here now it's quite possible for you just to to push them on and potentially not magnetize these um, but I've got one which is slightly looser than the others and I'm just I don't want it to get lost so I'm going to magnetize mine anyway um, whether you do or not that's up to you but um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do mine so what I'm going to do is I've already pre-measured and this little hole here is absolutely the perfect size for the same magnet to go into so I'm just going to put a magnet into each one of these and again I'm going to make sure they go in exactly the same way so that they will magnetize together ok so I shall do that and I shall come back ok so that's done and uh, all I did was put a piece of glue in there I used this little magnet topper so that I knew exactly which way the magnets were going in so this is good if you uh, don't want to get confused with which way you're putting the magnets in so literally hold it like that put it in just slid it across and then just to make sure it's in position I just used my little tool here and just pushed it down as, as hard as I could and made it nice and flush okay so next 
is going to be magnetising that onto there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the prong that it would normally sit onto, like so. And uh, I'm going to get my little pin vise out, I'm going to drill a hole in there, so I'll come back when I'm ready to do that. Okay, so I have my 2mm drill bit ready. I have my 2 by one millimeter magnets, that's what I'm going to use for this. So um, basically I'm going to drill a little hole just in, right in the centre where I click that section off. I'm just going to do that now. So yeah, get it central and then just gently drill a little hole. doesn't have to be too deep. Okay, just like that. And now I'm going to glue the magnets into there, making sure obviously that I have it the opposite way round so these will glue into place. Okay, so there you go, just um, glued that magnet in, it's all dry. So now we have this section which magnetises onto there. Where's the front? That's the front. And then we have the three tops, or fronts, and they all magnetise onto there quite nicely. It's all three done, so we're looking good. So next, uh, we just have to magnetise the side sections here. Okay, so next, I'm going to get these side guns here magnetised to that. Now I've had a look, and I'm going to use these 2 by one millimeter magnets again. Uh, the little holes which are in place already are just not quite wide enough, so I'm just going to use my 2 millimeter drill bit. I'm just going to drill out the hole slightly bigger, then I'm going to drill a hole into these two sections here and put a little magnet in there again, 2 by one mil, And um, that's it basically, that's all we need to do. That should, should magnetise them in quite nicely. So I'm going to do that now and I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so that's that done. I've um, drilled that slightly bigger, put the magnets in here. Slightly more tricky, there's not that much room to manoeuvre. But if you're long as you line the drill up in the centre, um, just drill it carefully, it's fine as you can see. So those are all drying, so now I'm going to do the other side of this and the other gun. I'll come back. Okay, there you go, so that's both guns done now with the magnets, and uh, on both sides of this one. They're still drying, but um, whilst we've got the magnets in here, we might as well finish this off. So now, I'm going to take all these little extra bits, which would normally glue in here, depending on which gun you go for, and I'm going to put little magnets on them. Uh, so I'm going to get my clippers, I'm going to cut off the section which would normally glue into the hole and I'm going to replace it with a magnet on all four of those little stubs and on both sides of this little section here. So I'm just going to do that and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm halfway through doing these, so I've got this one on here, done a few of those, but I thought I'd actually do one on camera so you can see me actually putting the magnet on. So what I would do first is I'd get my magnets make sure they're in the right way, I've already checked the polarity I would take one magnet off and I would put it onto the end of my file which is quite good because it's, um, it's magnetic but it's also quite with the sponge on there it stops it from being too magnetic so I'll prepare that I've also prepared some very small tiny pieces of green stuff uh, which I've got on the table here ready I would then put a piece of glue, super glue onto there. I would then dab the magnet to the glue and then pick up the piece of green stuff if I can find it. It's so small. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Pick it up and then push it into place. Now the green stuff basically holds it into position and uh, there you go. Job done. Okay, so that's everything now magnetised. I'm going to put it together. Just one note on this. Um, after it dried, I had to go over and just file down the glue that was around the outside here just to make it fit into the hole. So I had to do that. Um, but let's magnetise it together. So here we go. So that's the top section. That's obviously going to be glued to the, the craft. And then I'm going to start off with these heavy gauze cannons. So one on the side, that's the front section, and then one on the other side, that's that one. Take that off, 
So now we're going to do the particle shredder. So we have the front section there, and then these two pieces which uh, loop out. There you go, so that's that one. And then lastly, the heat ray. It's got this uh, very fancy front, and then these four sections. There you go. Perfect. Totally interchangeable and all magnetised. So hopefully you enjoyed that, so hopefully it was useful. And if you have any questions let me know. Um, as I said I'll put the links to the magnets in the description below.